Exterior angles are the angles on the outside of a polygon. They can be formed by extending the edges of our polygon. When we take these exterior angles and combine them, we can use them to find the exterior angle sum of any polygon. Let's start with an equilateral triangle. Here we've extended our base to create its exterior angle. We'll notice that the exterior and the interior angle are supplementary. That means combined they make a straight line. So to find the exterior angle, I can subtract from 180 because an a straight line is worth 180 degrees. 180 minus 60 means our exterior angle is worth 120 degrees. To find our other exterior angles, we can rotate counterclockwise through our figure. And when we do, that'll show us where our other exterior angles are. Since this is a regular equilateral triangle, we know our other two interior angles are also 60 degrees. That means our other exterior angles are also going to be 120 degrees. Now that we know what all of our exterior angles are, we can find our exterior angle sum. We have three exterior angles worth 120 degrees each. So when we add 120 plus 120 plus 120, that comes out for a total of 360 degrees. Well, let's test this on another figure. Here we have a quadrilateral. We're going to go around and rotate counterclockwise and extend the edges to create the exterior angles on that quadrilateral. When we do, our exterior angles are going to be supplementary to our interior angles. So to find the exterior angles, we can do 180 minus the interior angle. So here, I would have 180 minus 130 telling me this exterior angle is 50 degrees. If this exterior angle is 50 degrees, I know this one is as well. Down here, I have an interior angle of 50 degrees, so I can subtract 180 minus 50, and that's going to tell me this exterior angle is 130. So that tells me this one is going to be as well. So now I can find the exterior angle sum by adding those together. I have 50 plus 130 plus 50 plus 130. When we add those up, again, we come up with an exterior angle sum of 360. Well, is that a coincidence that both of these are the same, or are we starting to develop a pattern? Let's test this out here with a regular octagon. Since this is a regular octagon, we know all of its interior angles are going to be congruent, which means all of its exterior angles will be as well. Here we have one interior angle of 135 degrees. So to find the exterior angle, I'm going to subtract 180 minus 135, and that leaves me with 45 degrees. So if one angle is worth 45 degrees, they're all worth 45 degrees. So I can do 45 times 8, and that gives me 360 degrees. So once again, 360 degrees is our exterior angle sum. Let's look more closely to see if we can see why. If we start, we kept saying, we're rotating counterclockwise around the figure. If we rotate through all the angles, we start to see that we make a circle around the figure. A circle is worth 360 degrees. So no matter what polygon you have, when you combine its exterior angles, you make a circle as you go around the figure. A circle is worth 360 degrees, so the exterior angle sum of any polygon is always going to be 360 degrees. Check out the other videos in our playlist and don't forget to click on subscribe. Thanks for watching.